Recently, I was messing around in PlannerWalk's Discord server and I got really bored of Dawn's usual shit, so I asked if it would be possible to get some actual flurfs in the channel for us to play with. Now, to all those people on the server, I apologize. I'm deeply sorry for what happened, uh, for it was rather tiresome. Fortunately, it was fucking hilarious at times. One great example is the recent dumpster fire on PlannerWalk's channel and then subsequent debates with MC Toon and Fight the Flat Earth. We've moved on. Let's go. No, I, I'm not moving. You have to say it. You have to say yes. Chris, I will believe... If you're not you moving on, on this, this is a producer. Hey! Fuck Tarn! Shut the hell up! Say, and then we... Shut the hell up. If you can't move on, then you're moving out. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's wow. the shortest Flatterday Night fight. Of course, as expected, the particular fluff in question seems to think that he knows more about science than a group of people which includes engineers, medics, computer scientists, nuclear engineers, a physicist, and many other high-functioning professionals or retired professionals. Of course, the list of silly claims he made is lengthy and it made for some entertaining reading, and the claims were usually accompanied by arguments that are so poor that a brain hemorrhaged capuchin monkey could eat alphabetti spaghetti and shit out a better argument. Pretty standard flow of stuff, really, but I don't want to be talking about this arsehole for much longer. He did make me think about something, though, and that is when does a good question become a bad question? You see, flat earthers do ask good questions at times. Uh, things like, how do we know what shape the Earth is? How is it that the atmosphere doesn't leak into outer space? Or how do we know that gravity exists? Now, my line is simple. These are good questions, provided that you are willing to listen to the answers. Flurfs don't use these questions to get more information, though. They use these questions to spin rhetoric, to drill down to first principles, and then also demand evidence so they can ignore that when presented. Or they take on a tactic where they claim that a particular bit of evidence is not scientific, and this is based on their uninformed understanding of what the process of science is. At this point, the Dunning-Kruger effect becomes so obvious, as they are too arrogant to entertain the notion that they may have misunderstood something. Oh, no, science most certainly doesn't seem to be contradictory. What the problem is, is your comprehension of what things are being said. So um, there is actually no contradiction. I understand science. independent variable. Craig, what, what well, you clearly don't because rate? time, it can be an independent variable. At the purest level, there are some core ideas in the flat earth community that society could take on board, um, mainly around questioning the scientific establishment. Of course, there is a difference between questioning and outright rejecting. I find that too many people have repressed the high school science training and it has become acceptable for people to say that they know nothing about the sciences and to be considered a cultured person in the West, you are expected to know a little bit about history, arts, music, fashion, religion, politics and many other topics, but it is perfectly okay to say that you know nothing about any of the STEM subjects. And I think that one of the reasons for this is the interaction between the scientific community and the general public. For too long has it looked as if the scientific community has been sitting in some ivory tower, occasionally throwing a bit of knowledge out of the window and shouting, trust me, I'm really clever, and there are many issues with this, and there are many parties to blame, so we'll treat them in no particular order. We start with the publishers. The first issue is that science is supposed to be transparent. As scientists, we generally want to tell the whole world about our discoveries, but we end up publishing our work in peer-reviewed journals. Now, the peer review thing is fantastic. It is one of the core mechanisms to ensure the integrity of the science that we put out, but it is not very accessible. Because what is not so great is the price tag that comes with accessing these articles. As a member of the general public, you generally have to pay a hefty fee to get a PDF copy of a four-page publication. Of course, there are open access journals which are freely accessible to the public. But then the author has to pay to publish in a journal, and then you end up in a quagmire of funding structures which are an absolute pain to deal with, and publishing in these journals can be really expensive. The financial interest of publishers often gets in the way of making science accessible to the public. Fortunately, recent events have shown that there is political willpower to bypass this issue. Uh, however, this is really pissing off these publishing companies. The next issue is the media. Now, I keep the media separate from the scientific publishing companies as they are entirely different beasts. 
Now, the issue I want to talk about is movies and TV shows always doing their best to try and convey that their scientific characters are absolute geniuses that know everything about everything. On top of that, it's not uncommon for a scientist to be portrayed as cold, aloof, or even borderline autistic with no idea about how the real world works. And this gives a really poor representation of scientists. Yes, as a community, we tend to be pretty smart people, but when it comes to personality, there's very little difference between the average scientist and average member of the general public. Just like everyone else, we go to work in the morning, we provide for our families, we deal with a metric shit ton of emails, tedious office politics, and dull as fuck meetings. Outside of work, scientists will drink beer, watch football, make silly YouTube videos, and do all the same stuff that everyone else does. We also have to consider the scientists themselves. It is too common that a scientific publication is actually nigh on impossible to read once you do have access to it. So often you will find a paper where it is abundantly clear that the author was more interested in showing off how clever they were than actually communicating their findings, and this really gets on my nerves. But this is not just limited to scientific publications, you also see it in other formats. Take the Infinite Monkey Cage, for example. This is a BBC Radio 4 programme hosted by Brian Cox and comedian Robin Ince. Generally, I would really, really, really recommend this program, but there's a small thing about it that really annoys me, and that is that Brian tends to try to express simple ideas in the most inaccessible ways possible, although he does this for comedic effect, when he does this, um, with limited success as well, but it does not help the stereotypes. The nitty-gritty of science is complicated enough, and we shouldn't make it more so. Of course, there's an increasing dedication to science outreach where scientists engage with the public. We've had things like the local science museum for years now, but there's also an increasing focus on getting scientists out there to interact with people to talk about their work. One example is the grassroots organisation Pint of Science, where academics go to local pubs to present their work uh, to punters, and afterwards they talk to people over a pint and answer some questions. Having considered all the above points, there's one important part of the puzzle, and that is the general public. Science is at its core for the betterment of society. It is by large parts also paid for by the taxpayer. It is therefore imperative that the public holds the scientific community to account. But this also leads to the very first point I made earlier. You have to ask good questions, and an important part of that is making sure that you are willing to listen to the answer.